All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to Express TVC. This is a super fast, super effective full body workout that's gonna lengthen, strengthen, tone, and condition all of your muscles from head to toe. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. Your exercise does not need to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. So on the days where you are short on time, you don't need to skip your workout, fit it in, by coming back here. 10 minutes is all it takes to strengthen our upper body, our lower body, and our core. And because we're gonna be moving quickly, you're gonna get a cardio component too. These are compound exercises, so we're gonna be working our upper and our lower body at once. You ready? You need to be warm, so hopefully you did a warm up, you went for a walk. Then grab some dumbbells. Bend your knees, lift with the legs. Now we are going to do 30 repetitions, starting with a dead row. It's a deadlift and a wide back row. So we hinge, pull, control, and contract. Legs, back, back, and legs. Breathing as we strengthen. And even though there's four distinct positions, four distinct movements, you do not want to bounce. You wanna be strong and steady. Hinge, pull, control, and contract. Your head is an extension of your spine. So as you're moving, keep your chin level. Shoulders are low and relaxed. Our neck is long and lean. Great job. We just hit our halfway point, halfway through. The weight should be challenging enough to challenge your muscles, but not so heavy that you have to use bad form. Go at your own speed. Our goal is 30 repetitions. Deadlift, wide, bent, back, row. Start to feel this. Inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes are working hard. Your core is stabilizing, sucking your belly in, flexing through those muscles. Two more. Hinge, row, control, contract. Hinge, row, control, and contract. We're gonna go right into squat push-ups. So we bring the weight down, keeping a neutral spine. You can step or hop out to a plank, and then one push-up. Step or hop back in, low so we stand with our legs we're gonna do 10 of these if you are stepping out to plank alternate that lead leg if you are jumping that's a great option too your push-up can be on your toes or on your knees and if push-ups are what you need today you can always hold plank instead breathing through this challenge We're already halfway. Positioning is so important. Great results come from good form. Two more. Last one. shoulders. Wide stance. We are going to do lateral lunges with upright rows. One dimensional. So we bend our knee, row, bend, and row. Inhale and exhale. So just like the dead rows, our goal is 30. But we're going to do 30 on each side. Breathing. Our knee follows the angle of our toes. Hips stay level. Pull and control. Come on. 
get into that halfway point, going at your own pace. So remember, if you feel like I'm going fast, you can slow it down. Weight should be a good challenge, but you should be able to do it in good form. Halfway. Lateral lunge, pull. Lateral lunge and pull. Slowing down just a little. Starting to get fatigued. Belly is sucking in, flexing through your core. Lateral lunge, leg strength. Upright row, upper body strength. Core working. We got two more each way. One and one. Lock it in. We're going back to those squat push-ups. Now, if up and down isn't agreeing with you, you can always do squats and then push-ups on the wall. Ten is the goal. That's one. I'm feeling this round. It's gonna take me a little bit longer. Slowing down your speed is a great option. Don't want to compromise form though. So make sure you're doing good form. If the dumbbells are starting to feel heavy. This is a great exercise that you can do with your body weight only. Step or hop to plank. We got four more. Three. For the last one. Great job. Lunges. You can adjust your weight if you need to. I'm using the same set of dumbbells this entire workout. But if you need to go heavier or lighter, go right ahead. We're gonna do a right leg lunge with a hammer curl. Lunge, curl. Same thing on the other side. Left leg forward, right leg back. Here we go. So we got to switch legs, which is fantastic. But we're still doing the same bicep curls. So if those biceps are getting tired, you can do the legs only. That's what your body needs. You can always lighten your weight as well if you need to. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Our final set, squat push-ups. With or without those dumbbells, we've got 10. That's one. Two. Three. Step or hop to plank. Push up can be on your toes or on your knees. That's number four. Halfway point. This final set. We got five more. Dig deep. Fight for good form. It's time to get down. down. 
three more. Two. Last one, best one. Final exercise. Plie squats. So toes are angled out. Knees are gonna follow the angle of your toes. Hips are open. Here we go. 30. Plies for the legs. Overhead tries for the upper body. Rib cages pull down. Abs are tight. We're back to the 30 repetitions. Now, if you need a little less, this is still challenging, holding your arms overhead. Keep that in mind. If your legs need a break, you can do the arms only. If your arms need a break, you can do the legs only. This is working. This would be a little easier if you need it. Halfway. Fast and furious, getting it done. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. So that is it. Bend your knees, set your weights down, shake it out. Fast and furious. Make sure, subscribe to this channel, like this video, save this video. When you are short on time, come back. This quick, effective workout is gonna help get you in shape, it's gonna help keep you in shape, and it's gonna be essential to staying consistent.